Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode from Charleston, South Carolina. Hang tight, cause it's takeoff time. Sullivan's Island, the closest beach to Charleston, features two and a half miles of beachfront. It is a barrier island that guards the entrance to the Charleston Harbor. Sullivan's Island got its name from Captain Florence O'Sullivan, who began settlement in the late 1600s. This spot has been engaged in two noteworthy battles. The Battle of Sullivan's Island occurred here during the Revolutionary War, and later Confederate forces stationed here joined the volley of fire on Fort Sumter that ignited the American Civil War. Sullivan's Island Lighthouse is relatively new as lighthouses go. Few lighthouses have been built in the U.S. since its completion in 1962. This 140-foot tower has become a distinct landmark for the island. While visiting the greater Charleston area, I decided to stop by one of the area's ports to see the action. At a depth of 52 feet, the Charleston Harbor is the deepest on the east coast. Unfortunately, no ships were being unloaded, but seeing these cranes in person was still impressive. This port is operated by South Carolina Ports, which is the 8th largest container port in America. In 2022, these ports moved over 1.5 million containers and 199,000 vehicles. On another day, I visited the waterfront walkway in the historic French Quarter. Docked nearby was the Morella Discovery, operated by Carnival Cruise Line. I later found some interesting facts. This ship carries up to 2,076 passengers to the Bahamas. The Morella Discovery has 11 decks, an indoor and outdoor swimming pool, and a mini golf course in the rear. Along the nearby Charleston Waterfront Park is the iconic Pineapple Fountain. Pineapples are sprinkled throughout the historic city and represent hospitality. On a sunny Saturday, many people take to the water in pleasure craft to enjoy the harbor. One of the attractions for boating in this area is the steady ocean breeze you can count on each day. It also offers a variety of conditions for sailors to train in, such as sheltered areas with less wind or choppy waves in the middle of the harbor. Sailboat racing is also popular, with an annual international competition held here every April. If you stay long enough, you will see cargo ships entering or exiting the harbor. The Cathedral of St. John the Baptist is arguably the most impressive structure in Charleston. The original structure was completed in 1854, but the Great Fire of Charleston ravaged it just six years later. Because of insufficient funds, the current structure wasn't finished until 1907. St. Michael's Cathedral is the oldest church structure in Charleston. It opened its doors during the colonial era in 1761. Notable men such as George Washington and Robert E. Lee have worshiped here. On the left is St. John's Lutheran Church, and on the right is the Unitarian Church in Charleston. Charleston was dubbed the Holy City because of its religious tolerance and many places of worship throughout the city. The battery exhibits cannons that were used to defend the strategic position on the southern end of the Charleston Peninsula. As streaks of pink appeared in the western horizon, I made my way to the Arthur Ravenel Bridge. In conclusion, I would highly recommend Charleston if you are interested in history. If this video piqued your interest, I'd also suggest you check out my first Charleston video. I'll link it at the end. Don't forget to follow along on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Bang Up Media for more aerial exploration. Thank you for watching.